Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I got a big deck. We're gonna stain that deck together. I'm gonna show you how. Hit that subscribe button. We're gonna do it together. This is a Nick Gates show. we're gonna be cleaning the back deck. I'm gonna be using, let me turn this around and show you here for a second here. Boom, 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 boom. This Mold Armor Easy House Wash. Now it should get rid of any stains I've got here, clean the deck at the same time. First, before I do that, I'm gonna blow off the deck, get all these leaves, everything off of there. Then we're gonna spray it off, clean it, go from there. Check it out. y'all i got the deck completely cleared off got all the leaves sticks dirt everything up now the next thing and let me stop right there because i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking i'm wearing this hot hot white t-shirt and it's not because what you think i'm not trying to show off my body it's because this product contains bleach I don't want to mess up a good shirt. If I was going to show off my hot bod, I'd just take my shirt off. The whole world to see. Nick Gates show. Let y'all know what Nick Gates is about. But no. Product contains a little bit of bleach in it. I don't want to ruin any of my clothes. So make sure you wear some old uh, boots, pants, white clothes if you got them. We'll go ahead and get started with that. We'll go from there. Catch y'all up in a little bit. Alright y'all, got the deck hosed off, um, or the cleaner applied rather. We're going to let that set about 10-15 minutes, so we're going to hose it off and let it dry uh, over the next couple of days and go from there. Alright y'all. Alright y'all, today we're going to start staying our back deck. We're going to use our Cabot's Australian Timber Oil. I'm using the natural uh, tint of it. Get this at Lowe's Hardware. I'm not going to lie y'all, pretty pricey. I've researched some ways you can make up your own um, deck stain there's a, a few I guess recipes if you want to call it that out there um, I still had this in my garage so I'm still gonna use this till it runs out maybe next year I'll mix up some of that stuff my own apparently it makes twice as much for half the cost but uh, do your own research on that you can just simply Google or YouTube um, DIY or natural deck stain whatnot so uh, pretty interesting I might do that next year but today we're gonna start with this timber oil and go from there all right, y'all, when you first open it up, it's gonna look a little like this. You do not wanna shake this stuff up and put air bubbles in there. So what you wanna do, you wanna get you a stick. All the sediment, everything's gonna be up from the bottom. So what you wanna do, you wanna put that stick in there, basically scrape the bottom and just bring it up to the surface. You're gonna have to do this a few times 
may take you a little bit, but this is going to keep you from getting air bubbles in your stain. Be able, uh, you'll be able to put down a, a good coat. So keep doing this for a bit. It's going to darken up, get the color or the tint that you see. And uh, we can go from there. All right, y'all, I've been using this stick to stir up our stain here probably for about, I don't know, five to ten minutes or so. But be just consistent, be a little bit patient, drag all that sediment up from the bottom. Um, and uh, you see before what it looked like, and now all that stain's come to the top, and it's mixed in there pretty good. So now it's time to apply. I'm going to start with the uh, top of our railing here and do the posts. And then uh, I want to find something to do with the dogs for a couple of days, because you're going to let this stuff dry. 24 to 48 hours, uh, maintain you know at least 50 degree temperatures before you put this out. We'll go from there. Now, y'all, you, you can apply this stain in several different ways. Today, I'm just going to use a brush, and uh, you can use a rag. You can use these so-called specialty things they've got in Lowe's or Home Depot, which I just apply with a brush, and uh, I've had good results with that.